What's up, everybody? We are CampingGearTV.com. I am Ben. I'm Josh. And we would like to let you know that sometimes we take a look at the little guys, the people who are out yeah. there sweating all day long to bring yeah. us the most innovative gear you have ever seen. Yes. Maybe don't get as much credit as Columbia yeah. or some of the other guys out there. Right, right. So today we're looking at a company called Biscuits on a Stick. Yeah, and their website is biscuitsonastick.com. And biscuits on a stick uh, is what you see in our hand here. Well, there are no biscuits. There are no biscuits, but the product is called biscuits on a stick. And uh, you put the biscuits on the stick and cook them over the campfire. Josh is going to teach me how to do this today. Yeah, um, and so what Ben was alluding to at first uh, is that uh, biscuits on a stick is a company um, out of Illinois. Um, it was started by an uh, entrepreneur, um, just a guy that had an idea and decided to give it a go, uh, named William Big Stick Casabon. Big Stick is yep. quite a looker, as you can see. And a um, real nice guy. Um, he's got a neat little product here um, to uh, kind of expand the cooking options that are available around the traditional campfire. Um, biscuits on a Stick are made to be a long-lasting and durable uh, option for cooking biscuits over a campfire. So as opposed to a normal stick <laughs> where um, you know it's uh, not as safe and not as consistent, uh, these have the right size so that when the biscuit <laughs> so that when the biscuit is uh, it's gonna be incredibly is, difficult to get through is done cooking um, you can, uh, you know, there's a nice hole in there to put sausage uh, and honey and stuff, so you can have like a little breakfast treat, which sounds absolutely delicious. It does. Nice. Yeah, biscuit with sausage and jelly and honey shoved in there and all that kind of stuff. So I, be I believe I read that uh, the type of biscuits that are said to uh, to use are not like Pillsbury or an expensive brand, but some of the, the cheapies. You're supposed to get the cheap biscuits that have no filler, right? And they, they'll stay on the stick longer and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's what they say. Should we get in and yeah. start opening up and putting them on? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, the first thing you're supposed to do is put a little bit of uh, oil on the tip of the stick. Uh, and you only have to do that once. It's kind of to like condition it, right? Uh, so we went ahead and did that before we got started here. Um, and now we will put the biscuits on. As you can see, these look delicious. Well, you only put one on the oh, stick. Really? So you take one of those. And what you do, um, oh, you, 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 no, you don't, no, oh, no. The, you, you kind of stretch it out, kind of, you want it to look like a big Laffy Taffy, basically. All right? If you don't know what Laffy Taffy is, then what do you want it to look like? You. Um, if you don't know what Laffy Taffy is, I think you want it to look like a biscuit right before it goes onto a biscuit on a stick. Mm, okay. If you know what that looks like. So you want to pull on your taffy a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You want to pull on the taffy, get it nice and smooth. No, you want to stretch it out more than that. You want it to be stretchable. Then you want to take it on the curved end up here, put it over the head, Wrap it around. This is biscuits on a stick we're talking about, right? Yes. Okay. You want to put it on the head. You want to wrap it around. Tight little spiral so that no wood is exposed. On biscuits on a stick. On biscuits on a stick. Yes. And you wrap it around. You keep wrapping it. And then you've got a nice tight little package. I'm going to press it down and stretch it out a little bit more, and you got a little biscuit on the stick on the end of it there, as you can see. So one of the things about these is it's a long enough stick that it can keep, it's safe, so it keeps you out of the fire, right? You don't have to put your hand in the fire, whereas a lot of people are cooking biscuits and their hand is in the fire. Mm. And this kind of eliminates that problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, what do you think? Uh, let's go out. We got a fire started. We're going to go out and uh, we're going to cook ourselves some biscuits. What do you think? Let's do this. Let's do it.
right, so we've been outside and we have baked um, the biscuits on a stick over the fire. And uh, now we're going to give it a shot and see what's up. So I'm going to try and slide this bad boy off the end of the stick. And Can I eat mine on this off the stick? I mean, you could chew it on it off the stick, but I think what you're really supposed to do is pull it off like that. And it actually worked really well. It came off pretty nice. I might have cooked mine a little too long, but yeah, we're not expert biscuits on a stick cooker. It's the yet. first time, right? You know, which you never forget. That's and, what they say, right? We are and, no longer biscuits on a stick versions. Yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna go with strawberry jelly. So all in all, I think we know what biscuits taste like. I don't know if I've ever had biscuits over a campfire though, but uh, you know. I really don't have anything else to say about that. Kind of difficult to eat them off the stick. Yeah. Mmm. Good. Delicious. Tastes like biscuits. And you made them on a stick. Yeah. Convenient. Yep. Mm hmm So, you can see I had a clip in there. Plus cooking these things over a rip-roaring campfire. But actually best to do it when the fire's died down a little. And not necessarily get it when the flames are so bursting. That'll keep your, uh... The tip of your biscuit on your stick from getting uh, yeah burnt yeah so um, now we've proven that biscuits on a stick work um, and you'll, you'll see on their website there's a few main reasons that are listed why biscuits on a stick are the right choice for you uh, number one how many folks do you know do not like water well there are a few but mighty few. I can beat those odds. I have never heard any camper say, I don't like biscuits on a stick. That's a direct quote from Big Stick. So there are more people that like biscuits on a stick than there are people who like water. That's what he's getting at. Right. So that's powerful. Uh, reason number two, and this is uh, William Big Stick Casabon. I have been camping since I was knee high to a grasshopper and have made hundreds of campfires. Wait, camping since when? since he was knee high to a grasshopper. Okay. And uh, over the last several, several years that he has made biscuits on a stick, he gets one of two responses. Uh, number one, this is certainly an easy camping recipe. What's, uh, what's not to like there? And I have to remember to make this next time I go camping. Mm. Uh, reason number three, biscuits on a stick is the only product especially made for biscuits on a stick. Yeah, you can right. make your own stick from a soft dowel rod and it will burn in the fire. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a tree branch where who knows what animal was last on it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and what, yeah. And carve a nice twig, but it just won't be the same. And that's a promise. Right. You can take that to the bank. Well, I will say this, that uh, my stick, when engulfed in flames, did not burn. No. The stick worked well. It didn't get hot at the handle. Um, yeah. So, biscuits on a stick. And doubles as defense against bears. Yeah. Which, as you know, we are definitely wanting to protect us all from, since they're a problem at most yeah. campsites. So, you can go get biscuits on a stick at biscuitsonastick.com for I think about $12.95 for a pair so check it out that's a pretty small price to pay for you know a nice cooking tool something different to add to your camping collection um, you know that's pretty much it check it out thank you for watching come back and check out more videos campinggeartv.com